As you may know, 3 dem Picador exists out of several different modules. One of these is Packlip. Packlip is a database or library containing a variety of standard packaging designs. Examples of these are the Fefco and ECMA libraries. You can see the present packagings have been organized in folders, also called branches. With Fefco, for example, we see the main branch, which contains branches for each Fefco type, which in turn contain branches for each design of that type. If we open this final branch, we find a 2D CAD file, a Picador 3D file, and a PDF containing technical data. If we select the CAD file, we get the design with on the right hand side the parameters with which we can influence the size, and at the top the option to take it straight to Picador 2D. That seems like a convenient way to store your files, doesn't it? Well, let me show you how to create your own branches and add your designs. Starting at the root, which is the home folder over here, right click somewhere in the empty space and select new branch. This opens a dialog where you can give the branch a name, a description, and even add a custom thumbnail. To add this thumbnail, check the checkbox on the left and click the gray icon on the right to select your file. The file can be an image file in bitmap, GIF, JPEG or PNG format and has to be 150 by 150 pixels. Then click OK and your branch has been added. Now that we have an empty branch, we want to populate it with our files. These can be custom designs like the one I am adding now. Just right click inside the folder and select New Document. This opens a new dialog. Here we can add again a name, a description and a thumbnail, but also we can choose the file. Just click the grey icon and select the design you want to add. If we choose a design first, the name and description will be filled in with the file name automatically. We also don't need to add a thumbnail, because with Picador 2D files, the design itself will become the thumbnail. I can just click OK. Now we see the design has been added to our four-piece folder. Of course, besides adding your own custom drawings, there may be some certain standard designs you use a lot and you would like quick access to, including their parametrics. That's also possible. Simply navigate back to the design you need, for example, the Fefco 200 box you were looking at before. Right click it in the left hand navigator and select Duplicate Document. Now if we navigate back to that Fefco folder, we will see the file has been duplicated. Now what we can do is select the file and just drag it into our own folder. Say yes when the warning pops up. And if we navigate back to our 4-piece folder, we will see the design has been added. Of course, you can change the name by right-clicking the file in the navigator, selecting Rename and changing it in the dialog pop-up. Besides collecting designs, branches in Packlip can also be useful when sharing a larger amount of designs between colleagues. You can export and import them as you please. So there we are, you can now create your own Packlip folder and collect all of your designs.